Hey everyone, welcome to section SciPy and its functionality. In the previous section, we covered topics related to NumPy, the module that provides the NumPy array object as the basic building data structure to carry out high performance computations in Python. In this section, we'll be working on some practical uses on the SciPy library, which is part of what is also called the SciPy stack. It refers to the core packages of Python for numerical and symbolic computation, namely NumPy, SciPy library, matplotlib, and SymPy. The frequently asked questions at https colon slash slash www.scipy.org slash scipylib slash faq dot html and and the Getting Started Guide at https colon slash slash www.scipy.org slash getting dash started dot html can help make a clear distinction between the SciPy stack and the SciPy library. Specifically, the content for this section refers to the SciPy libraries divided in videos covering the following topics. Overview of the wide range of computations that can be done via SciPy library. Statistics with SciPy library. Fitting curves. Solving differential equations. SciPy special functions like Bessel functions, legendaire polynomials, gamma functions, gamma function, error function, and some statistical distributions. Time series analysis. Following the scenario, we'll start this video with a general overview of the SciPy library. https colon slash slash www.scipy.org slash scipylib slash index.html and some of its functionality to get you started on using the important Python module which according to its Wikipedia presentation, it adds support for high-performing common numerical computational tasks in science and engineering, including optimization, linear algebra, integration, interpolation, special functions, FFT, signal, and image processing, ODE solvers, and much more. A general introduction to SciPy. In this video, we'll mention a few of the numerical computational capabilities found in the SciPy library. To give you a flavor of the computational capabilities that the SciPy library makes available for us, we'll give you a quick tour of the documentation showing some functions available in this library found in the tutorial section. Among the modules available, we can find special functions, scipy.special, integration, scipy.integrate, optimization, scipy.optimize, interpolation, scipy.interpolate, Fourier transforms, scipy.fft pack, signal processing, scipy.signal, sparse eigenvalue problems with R pack, compressed sparse graph routines scipy.sparse.csgraph Spatial data structures and algorithms scipy.spatial Statistics scipy.stats and multidimensional image processing scipy.ndimage Each of these modules contain a variety of functions and is illustrated with an example as shown. We can continue by following the link to read the specific tutorial of a particular section. For a specific example, we show the documentation related to interpolation, or scipy.interpolate. Here we'll find an example of using linear interpolation via the function interp1d. Interp1d can be made available in the current Python section using the following instruction. From scipy.interpolate import interp1d. Note the link at the lower left corner downloads the example source code to our computer. 
Another example found in the referred web page is related to multivariant data interpolation via the function grid data. Specific content of a particular section listed in the SciPy tutorial can be obtained by following the link of the interested topic from the API reference section of the SciPy library reference page. For example, by clicking on the interpolation link of the mentioned API reference section, we're taken to a more descriptive page for the respective module. As shown here, browsing the page will redirect us to the page with functions related to univariate interpolation, multivariate interpolation, 1D splines, 2D splines, and additional tools. Before ending this video, I'd like to mention that you can find many topics enhancing the SciPy stack on the internet, which are not part of the core set of packages. Among them is the Scikit-Learn package for performing machine learning analysis with Python, the PyFem package for performing element analysis with Python, and the Astropy package for performing astronomy and astrophysics with Python. Additional sources that cover SciPy includes a yearly held set of conferences for users and developers. Here's the SciPy frequently asked questions. And our book, Learning SciPy for Numerical and Scientific Computing, 2nd Edition. In this video, we've covered a few aspects by walking through the specific topic interpolation in the documentation. You could do so with many other topics shown in the respective SciPy reference page. Similarly, as already mentioned, the SciPy library module provides many more methods to efficiently perform numerical computations in science and engineering.